Good day. So this is an example of um, repeated integration by parts. So we're going to have to do integration by parts not once, but twice in this case. So um, to get started, we need to figure out what u is going to be and what dv is going to be, at least for the first uh, time around. And uh, in this case, I'm going to pick x squared as u and e to the x as the, oh, sorry, e to the x dx as dv. Okay? Of course, we're always going to try to look for a dv that will integrate easily. And nothing integrates more easily than just e to the x. Right? Because, of course, the derivative of, of e to the x is just e to the x. So it follows that. If we integrate it, we get the same thing as well. So, um, now what is du? Let's take the derivative of x squared, so we get 2x, and we need to write the differential dx. Over here, we need to figure out what v is by integrating both sides. The integral of v to the x, as I mentioned before, is just e to the x. Great. Now that we have du and v, we can just fill everything into the formula here. So we have u times v, and the u is x squared, the v is d to the x, minus v times du, and du is just 2x dx. Alright, so now here I have a 2 just whisk it out. It's just a constant so I can take it out of the integral. Right now I'm just going to rewrite the x squared e to the x minus 2 times the integral and inside we have e to the x dx. Time, oh, forgot the x. There's an x there still. And because of this x, of course, we're going to have to actually integrate by parts again. So, now for the second portion, I think I'm going to use a different color here so that nobody's confused. And uh, I'm going to have to pick a new u and a new dv. Or dv. So the x is going to be my u. And again, e to the x dx is going to be my dv. So u equals x. So du equals dx. That's simple, right? So we just derive both sides. So just get du equals dx. Over here, what is our v going to be? If we integrate both sides, I'm just going to get e to the power of x. So v is e to the x. Fantastic. So now I'm just going to copy everything down quickly. Everything we had before. I'm going to open some parentheses here, but the square parentheses. And uh, can I call them square parentheses? I think so. <laughs> oh well. So u times v use x v is e to the x minus the integral of now we have v which is e to the x times du which is just dx look at that now we're almost done so x squared e to the x minus 2 times x e to the x minus now what is the integral of e to the x it's just e to the x. Fantastic. And of course, I'm just going to actually add a constant here. Um, does it matter that I'm just writing a plus c and not a minus c? It doesn't matter at all. Why is that? Because um, this constant can take any value anyway. right? So I can even actually take it outside here and not even bother multiplying by the negative 2. But, of course, everything else needs to be multiplied by the negative 2. But the constant, since it can take any shape and form, it can be any number, so I can just take it outside anyway. So I have x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus 2 e to the x. Don't forget, of course, to multiply. Go out a negative, negative, makes it a positive, plus c. Great. Now I guess I'll just factor out the e to the x. Change color again just for fun. Oh, whoops. It actually didn't change the color. Oh, it did. 
e to the x outside to get x squared minus 2x plus 2 plus a c at the end. And that is our final answer.